Hi, I'm Kiwi, that there is Bear, and collectively we're known as Oshala Japan. Together we're traveling around Japan in our self-converted camper van, and during our year on the road, we've seen our fair share of cursed locations and animal encounters. Today, the animal antics and intrepid adventures are continuing as we go in search of some very jumpy fish and a lake that is said to bestow bad luck upon those that lay eyes on it. So it is another gloriously sunny summer's day here in Hokkaido, which can mean only two things. One, that it is significantly cooler than Tokyo, and two, that the salmon are jumping upstream to do whatever it is that salmon do in summer. So hopefully today we are going to be able to see some of them and also one of Japan's most mysterious lakes. So let's go see what we can see. It is hot, <laughs> but we have arrived Summer, right? at Sakura no Taki. So here is where we are apparently going to see the salmon. So without much further ado, let's go. <laughs> I can hear already. It's not really that far. Close, right? Yeah, just one minute to walk. Oh. 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 You can see it. You can see it. We stopped literally within like one minute from our car. Like only five percent can go up. So much. That is amazing though. They must have so much strength, right? It's just fun to watch, like this is nuts. This is like something you'd expect to see in like maybe Alaska or something, but uh I guess Hokkaido has its own salmon entertainment. <laughs> if it's Alaska, like bear is on the waterfall, right? I can understand why they have the bear warnings around here because that is an easy catch. Magic Ambare. Remember when you went to that waterfall, the onsen waterfall, you tried to play out with that waterfall, how much effort that took you. Yeah. Like you can make it all the way and you're like a human with legs and arms. Must be hard. They're fighting hard. That's why the fish in Hokkaido is especially tasty, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to go. It's a good one. It's a I don't think I ever thought I would see something like this. Right? Right? I was expecting to see like maybe one or two. They're just throwing themselves at it. Literally. Oh, 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 oh. Where up? Yeah. Where? Like it was swimming. I middle. Think maybe it made it. In the middle? Yeah. So I had kind of assumed coming here that there might be a whole load of already blossomed sakura trees here. But apparently the reason that it's called sakura no taki is because of the fish. I'm no fish expert, but all I know is that these guys are trying really, really hard and it's really hypnotizing. Like I could stay here all day and basically watch them just jumping. Yeah. We saw we saw one time, right? Yeah, so five percent chance we've seen one. 
so far. I don't know how many fish we've seen in total, but I think less than one percent. Yeah. For here, try, they try again, like they try, they try so yeah. many times. So salmon is a really famous delicacy in Hokkaido. Probably because of this, it is a big part of Ainu culture eating dried out salmon. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry watching this. Me too, actually. Maybe today's the day that we finally try salmon. Maybe. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. 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 It was great. Couldn't believe I saw that much. I really did not expect to see something like that yeah. in my entire life. Me neither. Like, uh, getting hungry. Definitely. <laughs> Hopefully we can eat some salmon trout. I hope so. Now that we've seen that, we yeah. kind of can't not. <laughs> yeah. You get sugar? So we have just arrived at our next location, but the entire road is blocked off. We think it might be because of bears. Bear! ironically, has just gone to investigate and we're kind of waiting to see what the decision is. There's a few cars parked around here just on the side of the road because the entire road is blocked off. So we may or may not be able to see the lake today, but such is the reality of van life in Japan. What happened? They're fixing the road. Eh? They're fishing in two hours. Oh, all right. Change of plans. We are going to go for a longer walk than we thought. Hats on, bug spray on. Let's go. I think they are fixing this kind of road. Gakuin adventure is fun. Walking to the middle. Gamboro. Apparently that bug spray does not work. Bug? <laughs> Sorry. What kind of bug? I have literally no idea. Where? When? <laughs> it went. Oh no, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Ah! Ah! Mickey! Right. Inaka no mushi wa deke. Put your collar up. Apparently that bug spray does not work. Aksha! <laughs> What? They're fixing the road. Oh, yeah, the Where the hell do we go? My dusty. <laughs> the whole ground was shaking us so right. weird. But now, see. Very nice. Eh, eh, there's cars! Car park to the road. <laughs> yeah, that car. Ah! It wasn't that tiring. No, at all. It was pretty cool. From here, pretty nice way. Civilization. Yeah. Kuma-san, you're not here. Wow, it's so cool. Oh, hey, it's like that. It's like that. Yeah. Try that too. They're attracting all of the bugs. <laughs> more civilized, but more buggy. What? Oh my god. <laughs> ah! It is so blue. That is crazy blue. You can oh. see the fish too. So, according to the sign just there, it is trout. And apparently, the lake doesn't get above 8 degrees. So, all of those trees that have been there for years don't rot. And Every day, 12,000 tons of water comes up from the ground. Yeah, so all of that is like new water actually. That is amazing. So clear, see? It kind of reminds me of uh, the Fuji... Oshino Hakkai. Oshino Hakkai. Big version, right? Yeah, huge. It looks like we can walk around here. That's nice. There's lots of like little vantage yeah. points. So you can see the ground. But apparently it's like five meters deep. It looks like quite shallow, right? Yeah. The trout are so tiny. <laughs> It's a weird kind of difference between the ones that we saw jumping and then these ones. They look almost like goldfish sized. <laughs> They're kids. Maybe. It's amazing. It really does look like it looks in photos. No filter, no nothing, just stunningly blue. So they say that it is called what? Kami no ko? Kami no ko. So God's child because it's sourced by Lake Mashu and Lake Mashu is known by the indigenous Ainu people as being the lake of the gods which probably explains why this is so 
ungodly blue. And Lake Mashuis, where we are going next. So we have arrived at Lake Mashu, which is famed for being one of the clearest, most beautiful and mysterious lakes in the world. And well, this is probably why. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Can I? You tell me. Oh, eh? <laughs> oh. My dad. So I've heard that for 100 days of the year, Lake Mashu is completely covered in clouds. It is so rare to see, in fact, that if you can see it, it's said to actually be quite bad luck. So women are supposed to not marry until later on in life and men are supposed to have bad luck with their careers. So if you can't see it, like today, that's better then. <laughs> you're in luck. Weirdly. Like we, really weird. On the way, the sunny, right? Like only around here. I mean, we, we were like sweating from walking. It's been so hot and so sunny. And then, yeah, just up in the mountains, maybe too high up. It seems as though Hokkaido does not want us to see its beautiful lakes. <laughs> yeah, what about Hokkaido? <laughs> Oh, you can kind of see something, something. It's supposed to have some of the clearest waters in the world because it's so inaccessible. It's basically surrounded by cliff with no way down, no boats allowed, no fishing allowed. But I mean, you kind of have to hear it to believe it, I guess. They have like Mashu Daiji Tempo Dai. I think this is a little bit under. So we might have more luck. Since the water is really clear, it's called the Mashu Blue, if you can see it. <laughs> right now we're having a bit of Mashu Grey going on. I'm sure it must be beautiful though. It's fine, we saw another blue today. That's true, from Mashu. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty windy up here. I think it's about time that we head down to observatory number two or maybe number one and uh, see if we have any better luck our heads out of the cloud. So yesterday we went to go and visit Iosan, the volcanic area, and we got this car parking ticket. Yeah. Because Mashuko or Lake Mashu is so close, the car parking ticket actually covers you for both. You can use it for two days, so we rocked up today with the same ticket. Total, 500 yen. Not bad. Right, let's go see that lake. <laughs> that was a terrible laugh. Ignore my laugh. I'm just excited, okay? <laughs> Okay, 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 that way, that way, that way, that way. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm a bit worried, maybe we should hurry, because that cloud is not very forgiving. Okay, okay. Can you see it? You can, right? You, oh, you can, you definitely can. You? Can. can you? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> Ready for so many years of bad luck for your career? Hi. Suddenly you can see. Everybody, Mashiko, Mashiko, everybody. <laughs> that is Mashu Blue. Apparently so. So you can kind of see why it's so inaccessible. Like it's literally just surrounded by that big dip and it's kind of tricky to get down there. So this is about as close as anyone can get, which is why it's kind of so mysterious. <sighs> what? The short run and the 500 yen, I think. I think that is the... Whoa, yeah. Free car park yeah. is the one that's up there. <laughs> and then the one that you pay for is down here with all the views. <laughs> Only like three minutes. Makes sense. So how does it feel? One in three chance of being able to see it, basically. That make it special. Doesn't feel unlucky really, does it? <laughs> Not at all. But still like weird. You can't see there. Yeah. But only 300 meters, you can see here. Actually, I recommend to come here after. First, third, and second, first. Muzine. Only 100 days in a year. How do you feel? I can definitely understand why it's called the Lake of the Gods. Although the sun isn't shining directly on it, it definitely has that kind of blue, mashu blue. And then with the clouds too, it's just, it is mysterious. It yeah. is. Japan's most mysterious lake. It feels like a Ghibli movie. Da -da. Da -da. <laughs> totally worth it. 
So after visiting the lake, we did search for some restaurants that might sell salmon. Apparently there are very few around here. So we have the next best thing, sake stick, which is a Hokkaido delicacy and sake hara chip. Is that how I say it? That's not Hokkaido delicacy. Okay, that's just extras, salmon skin chips. <laughs> right? So it's like salmon jerky, I guess. Yeah. This is like what I need, was eating, right? They yeah. Eating. <laughs> kind of chewy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Having seen the salmon jumping today, can you appreciate that taste? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, salmon jerky. It smells good. Yeah. Oh god, it's much harder than I thought it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> it's going all in one. My teeth aren't strong enough for this. <laughs> it's basically like hard smoked salmon. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. They struggle to get up that wood for, so it must be muscly. Yeah. It must be tasty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the real deal. I mean, I haven't looked for this in Tokyo at all, but we've got to try some of these bad boys. How about this? Mm hmm. Can you not know? Also, salmon. Arigatou gozaimasu! <laughs> It sounds very crunchy. Mm. <laughs> so good, you can't stop. Yeah. So it is just fried skin, basically. Mm. It doesn't have the strong taste. Like the other one really tastes like smoked salmon or something. Like this kind of feels more like an actual meal. Guys, it's high quality. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's much tastier than I thought it would be. This and Sapporo Gold Star, if you're not driving. Speaking of which, we've got to get to our campsite before the end of the day and before it gets dark after all of that salmon searching. If you would like to see more foodie crazy adventures, yeah. then please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And please come back for more next time. Hi, see you next time.